Hello my friends, welcome back to another video. So today I just wanted to play with some paint. I wanted to test a few things to see what kind of reactions I would get. This is going to be a very quick tutorial, not even a tutorial, just a kind of watch me play painting. <laughs> I needed to get my hands dirty. Uh, and yes, I have gloves on now, but trust me, I don't at the end. So the background paint was satin enamels, uh, pearl mixture. I will link a video to how all these paints were mixed in the description. I poured down some colors that were mixed with pouring medium and Floetrol. And I put a couple of marbles in there, rolled them around put in some more white satin enamel paint with my syringe to kind of get a design. And I just kind of went with it. I stretched it around. I ended up swiping some of the white satin enamels over the colors. Um, I then came in with some paints that were mixed with the bloom recipe, which is vivid enamel and polycrylic. You'll see that when I show you the primary elements under the light. Um, yeah, I was just kind of testing. I'm trying to stumble onto some new looking effect. And actually, after I shut this video off, I tested one more thing and I'm really excited about the results I see, but I have to wait for it to dry to see if it really holds up. So I'll give you the information on that as soon as it's possible. But just like I said, I just wanted to play with some paint and kind of try to design some type of painting. So I'm gonna just let you watch for now and then I'll come back in when there's something important to talk about. Now I am swiping with swipe tools made by Tracy Reed Designs. If you're interested in those, I will put the link in the description.
So this is Snapdragon. It's a primary element. I have it mixed with Vivid Enamel and Polycrylic. Um, and I just wanted to see how it reacted with the Satin Enamels. And I really didn't have a problem with it at all. It wasn't separating or anything like that. So I was really happy about that. I do have a discount code for color art in the description that will save you 20% off of all of their products. So this big cup you see me dipping my spatula in is just the white satin enamels paint. Uh, the same one that I used for my base. And I'm just pulling it over the colors. And there's the Puffy 2000 again. It came in handy quite a bit for this painting. And these white colors are interference colors from Color Art. I decided to put some interference green through the painting and kind of go through it with a chapstick to blend it together. It's time for the close-up. It was very interesting. I got a lot of depth in here and you can see how the cells were kind of stretching apart. It almost gave it a water-like effect. So it was uh, it was an experiment. I wanted to see how it go and how it went. How it would go. I'm sorry. I'm so relaxed right now. Um, and you know it's not by far my best painting at all but I wanted to play around I had a good time and that's all that matters and that's you know what all of you should be looking for it's got a little bit of a landscape feeling uh, it's got a little bit of an ocean feel to it the yellow kind of disqualifies it as an ocean but you get my drift so that is it my friends i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please click like please subscribe and until the next time happy pouring <laughs>